Hi everyone. Thank you for joining me today on this Facebook Live. My name is Laura Milligan and I'd rather be stampin'. Thank you for joining me today and I ha I actually am just back from vacation. I spent last week at the beach with my family and it was wonderful, very relaxing and then of course you come home and you have to get back in gear. Um, but I have a couple fun things I want to share with you today. So if you are there, leave me a comment, say hello, let me know where you're coming from. Um, if you're watching the replay, either on Facebook or on YouTube, let me know that as well. Um, if you leave a comment or share this Facebook Live today, you will be put into a drawing to win the cards that I'm going to create today. And I will draw the winners of those next Monday. So please leave a comment. Um, I'm gonna wait just a second and full and um, then I'll flip my camera down but um, so my family vacations every year in it's a little island off the coast of Florida it's called North Captiva Island and it is I have been very blessed to travel all around the world and I will say it is my very favorite place to go so it's kind of like my heaven on earth um, beautiful beautiful place and of course to spend with my family is is truly heaven on earth um, okay so I see people um, popping on. Hi, Mary. Hi, Debbie. Hi, T Tanae, Lisa, Susie Q, Jennifer. Hi, everybody. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch switch my the view of my camera down. And I want to show you, I, I had shared a lot last week about the million dollar retreat that I got to go on. And when I came home from Florida, there was a package from Stampin' Up! And there was another gift, um, believe it or not. And so this, um, again, it went, went along with the peony theme, which is what they used when they made my the big over-the-top card when I reached a million dollars in sales. And so all the gifts that I got that week had this, um, used these products on them. But look how cute this is. It's a cute little tag. On the back it says, Laura, hugs and congratulations again and again. Love, Shelly and Sarah. Love that. So it was super cute. Of course, the packaging is always cute. And inside was this beautiful necklace. And I love this. It's personalized. One side says Stampin' Up. One says 11-8-2020, which is, or I'm sorry, 11-8-2000. That's when I signed up as a demonstrator. 10-31-2020 is when I hit the million dollars. And then it has the million dollars on one side. And so I was going to wear it today, but then I thought I could show you better um, if it was still on this card. So that was a really fun surprise to come home to. And then also in the box were um, these gifts. There were two of these. And these came with this cute tag. It says, thanks a million. Stamp it up, million sales retreat. And these are for Sandra and Renee. And so they have embossed their initials on them. And so they, I, I will um, get these to them. And I thought that was super nice. Just like a cute little toiletry bag. Super nice. They don't miss a thing, right? <laughs> okay. So um, I am going to start by giving away the cards that I made. It was actually two weeks ago and I had to think I honestly I after being on vacation mode and vacation brain I, I couldn't even remember what the cards were that I had done but then I remembered so anyway I did um, this was with the honeybee bundle honeybee home bundle and um, started out with something super super simple and this card is going to Carol Schaefer. Carol, I don't think, I know you're a frequent viewer, but I don't think I have your address. So if you could message me um, or email me, I will get this off in the mail to you. And then this one is just a little stepped up version. I added this hexagon shape um, that I had embossed with the hive embossing folder. And then I had this little die cut on my desk and I decided to add that as well, just sort of a tone on tone to add a little texture to the background. This is going to Ann Bellinger, and I do not have your address either, so when you watch this, if you will email me or message me your address, I will get this in the mail to you. And then the final card was a tent card. This is one of my favorite kind of cards to make, as you know, and um, so this one, so this was fun. It opens like this. 
and this is going to Jeannie Rao. Jeannie, I do have your address, so I will get that in the mail to you today. So those were the three cards from last, last time. Um, today, I'm going to make two cards, and they are featuring the Waves of the Ocean collection. This is an early release from our upcoming annual catalog, which will be released um, to the public on May 3rd. Um, but the, the pre-release includes the stamp set and dies. Oops, these are the dies. stamp set and dies. These will be appearing in the new catalog, but what will not be in the new catalog are, I think it just kind of completes the suite. It's the designer paper um, it's called the waves of the ocean. It's 12 by 12. And then the blue foils, I'm going to be using all of this today. And then the rhinestone waves, basic jewels. So you can get the whole collection. You just put one number in, you get it all. And I did do a class on these products. And if you missed out on that, I'm sorry that you did. You can actually purchase the PDF. Um, if you go to my blog, it's not there yet, because like I said, I've been on vacation, but I will be putting that, um, on my blog soon um, so that if you want to purchase just the class, the tutorial, which includes a photo of six different cards, all the supplies to use measurements and a video for each project, um, you can purchase that for $15 and it will be downloaded immediately. Yeah, so Jennifer, thank you. Jennifer um, was one that purchased the class. It's a beautiful, beautiful, suite of products, collection of products. And so I'm gonna do two more cards today just to give you some different ideas. So here's the first one that I'm gonna make. Um, it is a little bit simpler. Um, and I started out with, like I normally do, my Thick Basic White card base. And then I took a piece of Crumb Cake card stock and I will put these measurements on my blog. Um, this post will go up probably tomorrow with all the details in the replay. But for this, I used the, um, this is from a set of two dies called Stripes and Splatters. They are 3D embossing folders. They're narrow. And I used the splatters for the background of this. But I wanted to mention, I'm gonna pull this up here. This is, I call it the baby. This is our mini cut and emboss machine. It is on sale through the end of March for 20% off. And these particular embossing folders are like half the size as our normal ones and they are made to be used in this mini machine. So if you don't have this machine, it's a great little thing to take with you if you go to other people's homes, maybe for a crop or to craft, that sort of thing. Plus, it's just nice at home. If you're sitting at your desk, you can have it sitting right there. But it is 20% off, so don't miss out on that. Okay, so I'm going to set those aside. And I've already gone ahead and embossed. And I don't know if you, hopefully, you, yeah, you can see that detail. Um, hi, Barb. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Anne. Anne, I don't know if you were here, but you... Um, won one of the cards, so I need your address. So please get that to me. All right, so I'm gonna start with this. I'm just gonna first layer um, this embossed piece on the front. I'm gonna grab my glue, my Tombow glue. And you know I always keep a pin, straight pin stuck in this because sometimes the, the nose or the, the tip of it gets clogged. Got a little extra there, I'm gonna pull that off. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put some adhesive on the back of this. Just a thin little bead, it doesn't take a lot. I do find though, if I'm attaching something that's embossed, I do sometimes like to add a little bit extra glue just to help it uh, stick, because it's not a totally flat surface. So I'm gonna give that a second to set. And then I have a layer soft suede that's going to go on there and then this is a very small piece of the designer paper the waves of the ocean paper look how pretty it is on the other side this i just i wanted to use this again today i guess because i just got back from the beach and it is my favorite place i love the beach and i'm going to use a pelican on this card and we saw a lot of pelicans and one morning it was amazing because we saw the pelicans, I call them the fishermen, 
and the fishermen were out there fishing and which means that there were a lot of fish there right off the coast and then of course we saw dolphins and literally I've never seen so many dolphins in my life I think there were at least 40 we were trying to guess how many but they were just fishing and fishing and it, that was really neat to see all those okay so there's there's the start of my card now I'm going to do some stamping And I'm using soft suede ink and I'm going to first stamp the pelican. He's just sitting on the dock, I guess. And then I'm also going to stamp the happy birthday. Let's do that. Well, you know what? I'm going to do it this way. Just there like that. Then what I did, and again, I've already gone ahead and done this, but I've taken this so there's a die for the pelican and the dock. And then there's a really cute label shape. There's actually a couple of them in this set. Um, and so I'm gonna just, I just cut that like that. And what I love about this is not only does it do stitching, but it also, here's the one I already cut out. I'll bring it in here so you can see. It does stitching and it also does these really cute holes here. Um, all with one one spin through the big shot or i'm sorry the die cutting machine stamp and cut and emboss machine okay so there's that so i'm going to just show you here is my pelican piece and then my label and i'm ready to just get this card put together so i'm going to start with the pelican and i'm going to pop her up him or her up. I'm going to set that right on the edge there. So let me get my dimensionals. Put one there. And you know what? I think I'm going to get my mini dimensionals for this. I think because this is a smaller area, I can put one right there. Um, I could probably, let's see if it'll fit. Yeah, I think it'll actually even fit right there without showing. So that's good. That's when those little mini dimensionals come in handy. Lucy says, I love the pelican's waddle. Hey, Renee. Yes. Could you hand me that paper pumpkin? I just forgot I wanted to show you something else today. Oh, and look what I did. Oh, boy. Well, that's okay because I have a completed one. I smudged that up. So let's just pretend like that's not there, right? Thank you. So I'm going to take my label and I actually used some linen thread. Yeah, the dolphins, that was something I'll never forget. We've seen them there before, but I've never actually seen that many. Um, and there was actually, uh, I think I would say he was probably a teenage boy that was out in a kayak and he ended up right in the middle of all these dolphin and we talked to him afterwards and he said it was really cool, but it was also a little bit scary, which I can understand. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this up. I folded this in half. I, I'm bringing it up from behind and I'm just gonna pull the ends through um, like this. And that's probably longer than I want it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip that about like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'll just take a little bit of my linen thread. I folded it in half. Yeah, you know what I think I would do is I would either, I would maybe to cover that boo-boo up, I would put a strip of maybe some more designer paper in the background or something like that. But I'm just gonna keep going here today because <laughs> I do have one that's finished that's not all blobbed up. So I think I must have accidentally touched it with something, but so we have that. That's gonna be on both sides there like that. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a dimensional behind this side and on this side, I'm just going to add um, some Tombow. And I think I'm gonna use my mini dimensional again, a couple of those there. Put that in place. 
place. Just center that on there like that. So cute. I'll just hold my finger like this and then nobody will see the boo-boo. How about that? <laughs> okay, and then um, I'm ready to finish the card. I'm just going to embellish a little bit. So I have the beautiful rhinestone waves basic jewels. You can tell I love these and I've been using them a lot. I'm just going to put a couple of those. Um, it would be cute. You could put some even up in the waves. Um, in my sample, I just put two at the side here. But you know what? Let's just for fun, let's just mix some. Let's just mix it up a little bit. Why not? Put them on there like that. And I still could do a couple there as well, but I'm going to bring this one in because it does not have the boo-boo on it. So there is my first card. And I will redo that so that if this is the one you win next week, you will not get the one with the big blob on it. I would not send that out to anybody. But there is um, there is my card. Yeah, Marsha, my hands are tan. I really don't get very tan. But for me, this is probably my as about a glowing tan as I'm ever going to have. Okay, so there is my first card. And I have one other one. It's a little bit stepped up. I always like to do a more simple. Oh, and you know what else I forgot? I had an extra of the die cut pelican and I thought it would be perhaps really cute to just adhere it to the inside of the card. Um, it's kind of like a tone on tone. It's a subtle, but because it's die cut, it, it, you know, it just adds a little bit more texture to the inside as well. I thought that was pretty. So that's an idea for that. All right. And so my next card is a little more stepped up. I'm using more of the dies, and here it is. Using the pelican again as well. Um, so what I did for this card, I started with the tag. I had designed, when people purchase my classes to go, I always include a surprise thank you project. And this time, and it's usually a tag or maybe a simple card, that sort of thing. And this time it was this tag. So I included the parts and pieces for them to make this tag. And I thought it would be really cute to turn, take this tag and put the tag on the card front. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. So I'm starting with a Bermuda Bay card base. I'm going to set that aside a minute and I'm going to, um, so I have this sheet, this is going to be the front, and what I'm going to do is take this huge wave stamp, which is so pretty, and I am going to ink this up, and for this one I use Pacific Point ink. And when I have a big stamp like this, what I like to do is um, hold my pad upside down and ink it up this way. I think it's easier to... Um, ink it up rather than holding it in your hand and moving it across the ink pad. I just do it the opposite way. So I'm going to start and I'm going to put um, one stamp right here of the waves and I'm going to pick this up and then move it over a little bit and stamp again. So I want to create a light and a dark and you can see how I've done that. And you know what? I'm going to go there we go because I didn't want that white spot there. So there you can see the waves and it really does look like the waves. That's what they really, they really do look, look like. Um, I'm gonna add some words also in Pacific Point. You're, it says you're so totally awesome. And I'm gonna put that up here, right there, like that. Then I'm going to take my tag and this is cut from the Taylor Tags dies, which as you know, are one of my favorites. I use these all the time. So I cut this out of crumb cake. And again, these I love these dies because they do the stitching and also the hole for the tag. The dies also come with like a little reinforcement that you can put on the holes of the tag. But um, Marsha, this ink is Pacific Point. Isn't that pretty? I know. I know, Marsha, you got the whole collection, so you can make you can make these cards. Um, then what I did was I took one of, there are two dies, let me pull these out. There are two dies for these waves and they layer on top of each other. 
So I just used one of them today. And here is, here's the one I cut out. This is the blue foils. Um, this come, the blue foils comes with um, this color. It's Pacific Point, Bermuda Bay, and then a silver. And it's, they're gorgeous. It's gorgeous, gorgeous paper. So I'm going to just attach this over the waves. I just wanted to have a bit of a pop with, and I think that's exactly what these foils do. So I'm going to go ahead and get my glue and just dab on the edges here, just here and there. I try to find like the wider areas. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, And I'm going to position this right in this corner here. And I'll just hold that down. I'll give it a second to stick. And then all I did was snip this off so that it was flush with the edge of that paper. And then what I'm going to do is go back in and add a little adhesive there just on the tips of those pieces so that that will that'll stay flat. Okay, I'll give that a second. Oh, Marianne, guess what? The foil paper was sold out as were the waves, but as of this morning, they've gotten another shipment. So it is now available. So you can get the whole collection again. Marianne, I was gonna contact you as soon as I was done with this today. So it is now available, as are the gems. So you can get the whole collection. And like I said, you write down one number and get the whole collection. It's like $79, totally worth it. Okay, now we're gonna set this aside and I am going to make my tag. And so for my tag, I have a piece of the designer paper, and again, here's, this would actually be really pretty on it, but I'm gonna use this lighter side. And go ahead and adhere this to the tag. And I just cut this piece so that it's a little bit smaller. I didn't wanna cover up the stitching. Yeah, they told us that these, the foils and the designer paper and the wave rhinestone gems were available while supplies last and they, the foils and the gems were not available over the weekend and I called Stampin' Up! this morning to inquire about that and literally while I was on the phone with them, they became available again. So I don't know what happened, but a shipment must have come in over the weekend or something. So, okay, there we have our, our tag and then I'm just going to add my penguin and I cut a cloud, not my penguin. Well, yeah, my ping, we keep calling them penguins, they're pelicans. Renee has been calling them penguins all morning. <laughs> and we were laughing about it and now I'm calling them that, but they are pelicans. So I'm gonna put these on here and I'm gonna pop both of these up. So let me grab my dimensionals again. I think I'll stick with the mini this time put one on his head or her head. And then I'll just put a couple more down here. And then I wanna pop up the cloud as well. And the cloud, it is one of the dies in the, in the stamp set, so, or in the set of dies. Okay, yeah, I did not see any pelicans in Florida. I'm sorry, I did not see any penguins in Florida. I saw lots of lots of pelicans and apparently they even have white pelicans where I was and I didn't see any of those but um oh and you know what I almost forgot okay wait I'm gonna pull this off because I forgot one thing that I did was I took my linen thread and I'm gonna put a little bit of my adhesive back here my my stamp and seal and I'm gonna just wrap um, this twine around this almost like it looks like it is actually tied like a, a boat's docked and attached to this okay 
Oh my gosh, I'm like all fingers today. Here we go. There we go. I'm just going to knot that and then I'm going to go ahead and, and put it in place. It's just going to attach it about right there like that. And then I'll finish. I'll tie this in a knot. Hi, Chris. How are you? Thanks for joining in. Okay, so I'm going to trim this up. Like that. Okay, then I'm going to attach my cloud. It's going to go about right there like that. And then I'm going to take another piece of my linen thread. Here's a bigger piece. And I'm going to fold this in half, and this is going to be threaded through my tie, or I'm sorry, the hole of my tag. So I'll just put this through like this. And like I said, this tag was a bonus project for people that took this class to go, my Waves of the Ocean class to go. I always like to surprise them and thank them with an extra free project. So this is what I included this time, the tag. And they could actually take this idea that I'm doing here and to finish it up. I'm gonna pop this whole tag up. I'm gonna use my dimensionals. Let's put one at the top there. I just can't get enough of, if you love the beach, don't miss out on this suite of pride. This I guess it's a collection, not a suite, but don't miss out on it. It is just strikingly beautiful, I think. So I'm gonna position this here so you can still see the, the foil churning around there, the waves. Okay, we'll do that. And then to finish this, I'm just gonna take my card base if I can find it, I it has disappeared. Okay, that's crazy. I wonder if it fell on the floor. Oh, here it is, sorry. It's buried alive. Here it is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and attach this here and that just kinda pops this whole focal point. I'm gonna go ahead and add my adhesive. And I will put this in place. And don't you just love all these colors of blue? It's so beautiful. Okay, so there's that. And then for the inside, I have another panel. I always like to line my cards. If I've used a colored cardstock base, I like to line my card with um, a piece of white. I, I just feel like it finishes the card. And you can do some stamping on this if you want. Um, you could do the pelican again or whatever. So there's that. And then to finish this up, I'm gonna add some of my gems. So I'll take my take your pick tool and I'll just embellish this up a little bit. So you can, well, like, let me just do one more here. I'll put this here like that. So you can see on my sample, there are two different sizes of these gems. Um, I have used up all the larger ones on this sheet, but um, there are two different sizes and they're, they're just so pretty. So there is my second card for today. Um, here is my first card. So I'll bring both of those in there. And um, like I said, if you leave a comment, um, you will be entered to win one of these. I, I mail them out every the following week, um, which is really fun. I think people enjoy getting some happy mail. Um, but if you're interested in this collection, please feel free to contact me. You can place your order at lauramilligan.com. You'll see a button there that you click on to shop. It will take you to my online store. And I would be so grateful for your orders. Um, I also wanted to show you, um, before I leave you today, I have, when I came home, I had a lot of fun mail waiting for me, and I had my paper pumpkin from March. It is called Beyond the Horizon. It coordinates with the On the Horizon um, suite of products that everybody's loving so much. But what's special about this is that normally you get one full stamp set, um, but with this one, it's a thank you. I think it's the anniversary of 
paper pumpkin. And so they included an extra stamp set. So you actually got two stamp sets. This one is the bonus thank you one. Look how big it is. Um, and they used it to make this really cute tag. And then this is the one that, that comes with the paper pumpkin kit. You get a full bolt of ribbon. Um, the ink spot is Misty Moonlight. And let's just open this up. I have not even taken a peek at this, but um, I know it's really, really, really pretty. Side. So it is called Beyond the Horizon, and you can see um, it's enough product to make nine different cards, and look how pretty, beautiful papers, and just gorgeous, gorgeous. I have a couple extras of these. We are allowed to do paper pumpkin as cash and carry, so I do have some extras. If you are interested in this, send me a quick email because I think they're going to go pretty fast, um, especially because there is an extra stamp that you would get that as well. Um, just let me know. I can do local pickup or I can ship it if you are interested. And um, I have, like I said, a few of those, few extras of those available. So let's see here. Okay, so. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will be back next Monday. I I had such a crazy March. It was all good. I traveled so much. I feel like the whole month is over, and it just started, but I had kind of a busy month. It was great to um, get to travel, see my family, go to Stampin' Up! headquarters. I spent a day in Ann Arbor, the home of the University of Michigan, which is my alma mater, and um, just a, just a really fun, busy month, but now I'm ready. To, I'm home and I don't plan to go anywhere else for, at least for the near future. So I will be here and I will be back regularly on Mondays again at one o'clock. Um, I have two, actually three events this week. Tonight is my team bingo event. Those are for, it's a special night for team members that reached a certain incentive that I had offered them. So that's going to be tonight. Tomorrow night is my customer bingo and I'm so excited for that. I will be sharing some of the projects that we made probably next week. They are so so cute. I can't can't wait to share those with you all um, and maybe I'll show you some of the prizes and that sort of thing. Um, and then on Wednesday I have a group of ladies coming to my studio for an in-person stamping event which I call Simply Stamped and we make um, just some some really really cute cards and I always love having the ladies here and stamping with me in my studio. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please feel free to reach out with any questions if I can help you with anything. I'm always more than willing to do that and I look forward to next time. And as always, I hope you have time to be creative today. Thank you so much everyone. Have a great week.